on this episode of Rugged Expeditions, we're in Tanzania, we're buff hunting, we might chase a couple warthogs around, because I am the Prince of Pork after all, and we're going to do some baiting for a friend of ours who's coming in and she's going to be trying to get a leopard after 42 nights of trying to get one. Maybe a little of the Rugged X luck might just rub off on her. Brought to you by Gunworks, the long range experience. Middle of the day like this, you're basically just looking in the shade underneath these big trees. See if you can see any buffalo that are laying in there. If you can find a couple old Dugga boys that are laying there, just chewing their cud, chillaxing, it's nice because then you can get the wind right and get in there tight on them, but it's kind of hit or miss. But they're not going to be up and moving until this sun gets a little lower. But you got to keep going. I mean, you can't just sit around in the shade and chew your cud. I mean, you got to do something constructive. And sometimes you see them even now just moving from one spot to another. Part of buffalo hunting. Have I mentioned how much I love buffalo hunting today? I don't see anything except soft bulls. That's just, they don't do nothing. That was kind of cool when they came right here. Huh? It's such a big herd, though. What is that? Maybe. 15 yards? <laughs> Everyone's pointing again. Different about about us. Yeah. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to the car, which is either that way or that way. But we know that the road is somewhere over there. There they go. Maybe, maybe not unload. What we'll do, we'll just walk back, head back to the truck, and then might find something on the way or something. See if we see them. Yeah, just whatever. Well, we're just going to keep. Left. We'll just walk this ridge back to the truck. Is that a zebra day? No, today is no zebra day. I have an order for a zebra back at the house. Just so you know. Fantastic pick. Let's get on the sticks. It's down. <laughs> Fantastic. Right in his tracks. Pile it, pile it. Pile it, pile it. We'll see. Uh, it's supposed to be between his eyes. It looked good, but did you see how fast that other one took off around him? Behind him. <laughs> he goes, those guys aren't zebra hunting. No, They're no. pig shoot. I'm getting out of here. That Let's was go have sweet. a look. Did you see his tusks? Yeah, it is. Holy crap, the one's got like a curve that comes all the way up around the top. Something gets bigger the closer you get, huh? Here, let's just make sure here. That was a pretty good head shot, though. <laughs> that thing dropped in his tracks. How about that, huh? Well done, sir. That was a good shot. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, pig like this. Oh, that's awesome. And look how much is down here still, too. It goes way back in there. Nice. I'll take that shot all day long. You got to love that Gunworks climber, huh? How about that? It's first safari. We've been whacking and stacking. Just a beautiful piece of work. Wow. Nicely done. I'm thinking 
Knife handles? Maybe. Uh, I love shooting pigs. I don't know what it is, but call me crazy. So one afternoon, my buddy says, hey, you want to try my brand new 500 Nitro Express? Well, what he forgot to tell me is it has a really bad habit of both barrels going off at the same time. Watch this. All right, look at this piece of work. This is the Heim 500 Nitro Express. It's so heavy because it's got so much gold on it that it's, you know, let's see what this does. We ready? Ah, that's what happens when you have the safety on. Okay, here we go. I hit the bottle, that's the good news. This is great, this is kind of like paying it forward where we're helping out the next guy who's gonna be in here in about four days. We got a really nice heart beast the other day, so we've got the hind quarter up in this tree over here where a leopard has been spotted and there's tracks for him and he's already hit another bait that was up here previously. So we got a fresh one in there. We've got an area over here that's 60 yards away from the tree where they'll set up a blind in that for him. And hopefully we'll be able to send him this video and say, we were happy to help you get your leopard of your dreams. I wish it was us leopard hunting and we had a leopard on bait like this, but we're not. We're buffalo hunting. We're trying to help out the next guy. We're here to serve. I've probably said it a hundred times, but you never know what you're going to see when you're out driving around in the African bush. Here they come back again. Here they come. They're coming right to the truck. cool is that? Wild dogs at 15 yards. They don't even care. So we've got, um, the trackers have picked up four bulls here. Yeah. From early hours of the morning. He's here. Yeah. Yeah, you can see how they've been eating on the grass here. see what we can. It's nice so after that rain it's killed all the old tracks and now anything we see we know is at least since yeah. this morning. Huh? Since this morning. Look at the size of this one bull here. This is in the same place where I shot that 44 last year. Now we'll get his big brother. Or his bigger grandfather. These bulls we've been following, they've come into this mud hole and rolled around. But by the looks of the mud and the grass here. Yeah, that mud's already dried. Came off his hoof after he walked out of that mud hole, but you can see it's already dried up. See where he's gone from rolling under the mud this morning. They've gone under this bush here. You can see it's ready. It's dry already. Rubbed right on it as he went by. We can catch these bulls, but it's going to be a few extra hours of walking, I think. Unless hopefully they can lie up somewhere and, you know, we can gain ground. But this is early hours of the morning, because the moon is still a little bit out. Mm -hmm. Early hours. Dung is hot. Hot steaming dung. Well, if this wind will stay like this, we're good. As long as it keeps going like that. We got it coming like this. 
I just worry if he goes over the edge there, Alan, and he goes down the other side, the wind's going to get him. Alan, these tracks, I mean, he's just, he's been on this path for a few minutes now. I think let's try and push before he gets off the hill into that thick stuff by the river. We can catch him while he's still out here. Down, very good. Come. Okay, I just couldn't hear that you were on, so I finally shot. Melara, can you imagine? Right here. You're sleeping in this water here, <laughs> and they jumped out here. There he is. What's he say? Here you go. Well done, sir. <laughs> Thank you. What a great bull, huh? Old, huh? Sana. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. Good tracking, man. Good job. That's the kind of bull that you hear the stories about where you track and track and track and you don't know what's going to happen and you go through all that thick stuff. Then you come up on the plateau and you're walking and walking and walking and you're thinking, he's long gone. And then when we finally found that last heap of doo-doo back there yeah. that was still hot, I thought, well, at least we're getting close. And then as we came up over that ridge, like it's wide open grass just like this, and he just jumped up. I don't know if we got it on the camera or not, but he jumped up and he was laying in a pond the whole time. And the grass covering the side of the pond, <laughs> he was hiding behind and he jumped up at like 20 yards. That was incredible. Oh, look at this bull. He doesn't even have hair on him anymore. He's bald as a cucumber. Probably a hell of a bull in his day, you know? I mean, he's a huge body, like the, the distance yeah. from his, you know. With his. Yeah. That was some good freehand shooting there with that gun works. Thank you, man. Isn't this thing, I mean, it's just been a great rifle the whole trip. The whole trip. We've just been, you know, it's awesome. Thanks a million, man. Another great hunt with him, Kuala. Dylan Clutie, the man himself right here, the legend, and we get to hunt with him. This is incredible. We just get another bull, another bull, and then we get to get an old, old Dugaboy. This guy kind of defines the term Dugaboy, doesn't he? Literally. <laughs> Been in the Dugaboy when we found it. Yeah. All right, well, the good news is, on Rugged X, besides hunting, we've been known to have a party every once in a while, too. So, We've shot a huge Cape Buffalo, which calls for a party. Now in Tanzania, a party is called a kabubi. So what you're about to see, kids, don't do this at home, okay? Don't do this without adult supervision. Luckily, I'm sort of an adult, and we have Dylan as our guide, and he is almost an adult. So between the two of us, we're gonna party responsibly here pretty quick. What the guys are doing is they're taking some leaves and some toilet paper. Look like we got a float going here. So you know how you have a float in a parade? Well, this is a kabubi float made out of a Toyota Land Cruiser. You'll notice I've decorated my hat. So now I get decorated like the marshal of the parade here. So I got my sash on. Not to be confused with the sash you get for being Miss Washington or... All 
Ukraine. Come away! Come away! Come away! Come away! Come away! Well, as luck would have it, a huge leopard showed up in the trail cameras. So when African huntress Geraldine May Stallman showed up in our camp, she was able to take this monster tom off the bait we had put up for her. And I'd say she deserved it. I mean, after all, this was her fourth safari, her 42nd night in a blind trying to get a leopard, and she finally succeeded. A little Rugged X luck is all it takes. All of us of the Rugged X team, we're happy to help, Geraldine. Woohoo!